Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Baxter Cycle, and look what they've got laid out for us today. Isn't that just an absolutely beautiful machine? That is a Triumph Bonneville T120, special edition, one year only model. Check out this chrome. <laughs> Blinded by the light, right? That's Meriden or Meridian Blue. I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. I think that's the name of one of their factories or one of the factories they had back in the day. So what is it exactly? Well, it's a 1200cc uh, single overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, parallel twin, liquid cooled. There's a radiator, kind of just disappears into the front, doesn't it? It's got a uh, about 79 horsepower and 77 foot-pounds of torque. But there's kind of a hat trick that goes along with that, and that is that the uh, torque and the horsepower is all right at the bottom. When you're going down the road at 60 miles an hour in this thing, it's only tacking about 2,500 RPM. So it's a really nice, torquey, low revving motorcycle. It's a, it's a very pleasant thing to drive, very pleasant thing to ride. Uh, it's got a six speed transmission and these transmissions are just absolutely smooth. I just absolutely love them. Jumping up to the front real quick. We'll talk about the styling details here in a minute. But jumping up to the front, it's got twin 310 millimeter disc with Brembo dual pot calipers, ABS of course. 41 millimeter forks. The tire in the front is a 190-18, which is an unusual size, I thought. Common back in the day, though. And the rear tire is a 150-70-17. The brake on the back is a 255. Twin pot in this one. The uh, wheelbase on this hot rod, 57.1 inches. That's 1,450 millimeters. Seat height, this is incredible, 31.1 inches. That's about 790 millimeters. And when you sit on it, it just doesn't, it feels shorter than that because let me look how narrow this is. Fuel tank holds 3.8 gallons. That's 14 and a half liters. And the whole bike weighs wet, the wet weight, 520 pounds. That's about uh, 236 kilograms. Just a gorgeous machine. Uh, this one did, they did add a, a uh, center stand to this particular one. This one's sold, by the way. So here's the center stand right here. We'll talk about styling real quick. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos on the older T120s, you'll see a lot of those in this. And uh, the things that really jump out, you know, the 32 spoke wheels, these, uh, I think these are aluminum wheels, you know, the boots up here, this uh, traditional styling of the uh, gauges, you know, the parallel twin engine with the outside facing pipes, the angler heads shape, the, it's a fuel injected motorcycle, but these look like monoblock carburetors. Very nice look. This looks like an air filter here. This looks like a uh, oil tank. It's not. It's a, it's a wet sump engine. This is, you know, the, the traditional look of the Triumph heart. And this looks like a uh, Triumph transmission, like a pre-unit almost. Uh, however, it's not. It's uh, it's the chain sprocket cover, and I think that's where the oil reservoir, or the uh, brake reservoir is, brake master cylinder. And this is where you check, check the oil. Just gorgeous, isn't it? The traditional flat Triumph seat. If, once you uh, try a flat seat, once you've used one for a while, you just fall in love with it. And of course, the cone on the back. Always point those out. And I've already talked about the pea shooter pipes. Look, aren't they gorgeous in chrome? You know, some of these other ones, uh, they're brushed, but on this particular bike, they're chrome. And then, of course, the cases. Now, look at that. Kind of a brushed aluminum look. The brass look there. Brass up here. Just really pretty. Now something I really want to point out, and I hope the camera picks this out. You know, this is chrome, this is the blue, but look at the detail of this, uh, tank, this tank badge. I mean, that is really a piece of art. Just, just well, well done. Traditional two-sided swing arm. I love the back end. Very traditional looking, really. They call these the modern classic series. And you can really see why. And of course, because it's Triumph, it's got all the high-end parts. It's, I was talking with a couple of friends about this the other day, and when you think of Triumph, or when we think of Triumph, what we like about ours, we like the quality. They're just, they're built solid. They're solid, but they're not heavy. Um, they have decent performance. They have excellent styling. You know, the quality, the, the engineering, everything's right there. You know, it's, it's a very stylish, traditional almost looking motorcycle. When I think of an old motorcycle or of a good looking motorcycle, I think of a 60s era Triumph. And this, this really harkens right back to that. Isn't that just gorgeous? 
Uh, let's step up here and look at some of the uh, switch gear. Look at all this chrome. So jumping up here, we'll start with the clocks. So we've got dual clocks. And if you feel this, that, you know, that's kind of, that's also very traditional. It looks like it has the aluminum backing, the uh, clock set in there. You feel this, the basils are actually domed. You can feel that on there. Um, isn't that neat how that does it? Oil light, all kinds of stuff. Down here we've got some LEDs. We've got a digital fuel gauge, trip meters, multiple trip meters, indicator for a road or rain mode. Um, I think these are all controlled with this button over here, the information button. So check it out down here. Trip meter A, B, I'm sorry, one or one or two miles per gallon, time, traction control. You can turn the traction control on and off on this model. Isn't that cool? If you want to do uh, some hot rod and you can get that done. And of course on this side, we talked about this already. So that must be range up there or maybe miles. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so there's the fuel tank fuel gauge very I just love the way this looks just gorgeous you know then stepping back from there the switch gear and the very best switch gear by the way adjustable clutch lever adjustable brake lever over here we've got the information button blinkers triumphs I say this every time triumphs are the best blinkers and the reason I point that out is years of uh, riding bikes that had terrible blinkers and you know you use the blinker all the time horn down here cruise control it's got the one touch cruise control system over here is the mode button, so this would probably control one of these screens. Let's see what happens. Rain, road mode. If you watch down here, we're in road, we're in rain, we're in road. And then, of course, the hazard lights. And then this is the rocker kill switch, on switch. And then if I push that down, it's a start switch. We aren't going to do that. Uh, reservoir right there. Let's shut that off. And then, of course, the traditional Triumph round mirrors. Uh, I have a T100. This is a T120. I've got those mirrors on mine, and I just love them. I just love them. They uh, work very well. Isn't that just gorgeous? That whole look. You know, just a beautiful, beautiful machine. This one's got the knee pads on it. I wonder if they all come with those. Excellent. The piping on the seat. Very stylish seat. Emboss Triumph right there. You know, isn't that just gorgeous? And like I said, once you start riding a flat seat, you really develop a, a, a real appreciation for that kind of thing side stand and I already talked about the center stand but I just love the way this looks I mean it's one of the most beautiful bikes out there and then this in the chrome the Meridian is just a, just a real wow bike I just love it now I want to show you all something really quick and I want to show it to you because I just think this is an absolutely beautiful bike and I wish Triumph would do more of this this is the same bike in blue so blue down below white on the top little gold stripe in between you know, blue fender on the front and back. Just a gorgeous machine. Same machine, pretty much. You know, just the coloring difference. And I, I would just, I love this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Triumph is really knocking it out with those colors. If y'all are interested in anything like this or brand new or used Triumph, Royal Enfield, or classic vintage British bike of any type, get a hold of Baxter Cycles. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now y'all get out there and ride. Wahoo!